Hi guys, my name's Barry and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do my top 10 most iconic horror villains of all time today. So this is probably going to be a very controversial list and I think it's going to be controversial from the very beginning because I'm about to tell you a rule that you probably won't like and that is in this top 10 list we won't be including the xenomorphs or the predators on this list and you probably think why not? Well, I don't really consider them horror villains. I consider them more along the lines of action sci-fi villains. I would put them in a list that maybe consists of Robocop, The Terminator, that sort of list. I think the Xenomorph and the Predator mostly should be in. Whereas when it comes to horror villains, I'm looking on more horror horror rather than sci-fi horror. So apologies, guys. Those characters, those villains will not be on this list. However, this list is just my own opinion. Please don't be offended by it and please don't be nasty in the comment section either. We all have different preferences and this is mine. And at number 10 is Jigsaw from the Saw franchise. This is one where the human being on this list is probably the most smartest human on this list. And the good thing about Jigsaw is, John Kramer, he doesn't kill anyone. He lets other people do that themselves or he lets them do it to themselves as well. That's why he is a smart killer and he's caused a lot of deaths in the franchise as well. So that's the reason why John Kramer, aka Jigsaw, is on this list. And at number nine is the Creeper from the Jeepers Creepers franchise. I believe the Creeper would be higher on the list had parts three and four been a lot better than they were, but they're not good at all. And I don't even consider them when I think about the Creeper. When it comes to Jeepers Creepers, it's one and two for me, and he's fantastic in those two films. And the good thing about the Creeper is we don't know much about him until the movie progresses. We don't know his backstory at all. We know a little bit about his backstory when we see Jeepers Creepers 2, and that's what I love about his character. The lore is still kept secret. If we got proper sequels in the future, maybe we'd know more about him, and maybe he would creep up, creep, creep up on the list. But for now, he still sits in number nine. And in number eight is Death from the Final Destination franchise. This one is unique because we have never seen Death and we probably never will see Death unless they decide to do something wacky with the next Final Destination movie. But for now, I think Death is an interesting one because Death itself creates fantastic ways and to kill someone and it's again similar to John Kramer where death doesn't directly kill someone it causes a death where someone does it to themselves and at number seven is Pennywise from It and It miniseries now Pennywise was already iconic because of the the novel by Stephen King and of course the miniseries from back in 1990 everybody knew who Pennywise was and every kid in the world was scared of clowns because of Pennywise back in the early 90s, when Pennywise started to disappear, people started to think, you know what, clowns aren't that scary anymore. And then on came the It movie from 2017 that brought back the fear in our heads when we were kids from the early 90s, scared of clowns again, and Pennywise is scary again. Not only that, it introduced Pennywise to a new generation of kids who then became scared of not just clowns, but definitely Pennywise himself. So I think Pennywise is on this list because Pennywise is scared now two generations of kids in my lifetime. And at number six is Chucky from the Child's Play franchise. And it's similar to The Creeper where he would be higher on the list had they been in films where they were a little bit better. Now, the first three Chucky movies are good in my eyes and Chucky's fantastic in those films. I believe Chucky is better than the films. Chucky's better than all the films that he's in. The Curse of Chucky as well is a good one if you want to consider Chucky being a good, scary villain. The rest of the films, as well as the TV show that is recently released, are all jokes to the franchise and I don't believe they're any good. But Chucky in parts one, two, three, and Curse of Chucky is the reason he's on this list. He's obviously an iconic villain as well. Everybody knows who Chucky is, even if you haven't seen the franchise. If you look at the good guy doll, you can automatically say, that's Chucky. And at number five is Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. And this one is a surprise to me because I thought Freddy would be in the top three. But looking at the list of villains, I'm like, do you know what? This one, this one, and that one. Freddy ended up at number five. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I haven't revisited the franchise in quite some time. 
And there's some stinkers in the franchise as well, just like any other franchise. But when they're stinking, they're bad. But when they're good, they're great. And I love Freddy Krueger. I love the more scary Freddy Krueger. And that might be my problem because he gets into that Chucky territory later on in the franchise where he becomes more comedic than scary. And I think that's maybe what puts him in at number five. Had he been the Freddy Krueger from parts one and two, maybe he would be higher on the list. But he's still scary. He's still a character that scared generations of horror fans. And that's why he's on the list. And at number four is Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, I do believe he's high on this list simply because of the remake from 2003 and the prequel to the remake in 2006. Most of the other films that he's in is sort of a joke, apart from the original. Of course, he's great in the original, but he's also quite tame in the original. It's all about the family with Leatherface. Without the family, Leatherface isn't really much. That's why I love him in 2003 and 2006, because without the family, he's still very brutal and scary, and he's very realistic as well. Sadistic, you name it. He's everything under the sun. He's a menace. He's huge. He's amazing. I love him. And it is because of the remake and the prequel. It might be my age. I don't know. But if you look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 from 1986, and then you look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4 from 1994, if you look at Leatherface in those types of films, he's a joke. He's not scary at all. But look at the Leatherface from part one, even part three from 1990, he's still quite scary. 2003, 2006 is what does it for me, guys. I don't know about you, but that's the reason I love Leatherface so much. And at number three is Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th franchise. Who would believe that a character that doesn't really feature in part one until the end of the film would be high on a list of horror villains? Pamela Voorhees, spoiler alert, is nowhere to be seen on this list because she's not a horror villain. She's not, oh, sorry, she's not a horror villain icon as much as, of course, Jason Voorhees. But the man's numbers speak for himself. The body count is into the hundreds as well. He's not a human being anymore. He's, well, when I say anymore, he never was a human being. He's an unstoppable force of nature that, how are you going to kill him? I've no idea. And at number two is Ghostface from the Scream franchise. This is one that I know people will be shouting boo over the, the TV or the phone because he's, or he or she, I should say, uh, it can, they can be anyone. And I think that's one of the reasons why he's high on the list because when I say he, it's because Billy and Stu were the original killers. So I apologize, guys. It's, it, there's just something so realistic about Ghostface, probably the most realistic character on this entire list because it can or she can be anyone. It could be someone who doesn't have any strength, someone who's got a lot of weaknesses, someone who's five foot two. It could be anybody on the list, but there's something about the ghost face killer that I like because they are like us, not in the killing sense, but they love horror films and we love horror films so we can relate. Ironically, we can relate to this villain. And again, that's one of the reasons, if not all the reasons that he or she is number two. And then number one is, of course, Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise. Now, believe it or not, guys, I made this list with the intention of hopefully not putting someone related to Halloween at number one, because for me, it's very common to put something Halloween related at number one on the list. And I tried my best to consider other characters, other horror villains to be placed into number one. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Michael Myers is so iconic. Michael Myers is the character that they all try and copy. Michael Myers is the icon that they all try to replicate or beat, and they just can't do it. Of course, there's some films that are silly in the Halloween franchise, but when you look at Michael Myers, he's not silly in these films. Halloween Resurrection, what a terrible film, but Michael Myers is an unstoppable force of nature as a human as a supernatural, you ask the questions in all of the films. The Curse of Michael Myers, abysmal film, but Michael Myers, he's fantastic. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, terrible film. Michael Myers, he's brilliant, he's amazing. Whether he's got the mask or not, Halloween H2, whether you like the mask or not, Michael Myers is always fantastic. So something that Michael Myers has over every other villain in the franchise is whether or not the films are good, Michael Myers is always amazing. And that's why he's number one. So that's my top 10 list, guys. And apologies in advance 
if your number one is not the same as my number one, or maybe your number one doesn't even make my list. But that's the beauty of opinions. That's the beauty of opinionated lists. We all have different opinions. But leave your list down below, guys. If you don't want to tell me your top 10, give me your one, two, or three, top three at least, horror villains, horror icon villains down below, and we can get discussing. And as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon. Meeting adjourned. I'll be right back. Oh, what are you waiting for, huh? I'm coming to get you, Barbara. Ever play? Skin the cat. I want to look back!